Hey, there's two that I finished already. Three that I died. Four that I made that I haven't died yet. That's my dyeing and oiling station. And this is my workstation in the backyard here. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. So I need to make sure I put this template on the right way because I have it already um, beveled for the loop side under and outer because it's really hard to bevel the loop, the top belt loop. So I do that before. So this one has to be like that. Just like that. So I just square my template up. Make sure it's straight. Mark my holes out where I'm going to be riveting them. And I, it took me a while to get this template going and to know where um, where the spacing is on the holes there because you have to line up just perfect. If you're off just by a little bit, that rivet does not come out very easy because the rivet gets caught, stuck in there. And I just have struggled. I already wasted quite a bit of leather. Um, I have a couple over there that I have to take out but I need to make sure that this is beveled and that is beveled. That looks good. Skin up. Right there. Help make sure. Now that's the part. like that and now I'll just rivet them and I can't go too fast with this especially when I'm riveting them because when I screw up it's really really bad it takes a long time to fix a mistake when you have rivets in there because if the rivets if the rivet doesn't go in there like on this one right here see how it's all marred right there it's really hard to get these rivets out um, and not damage the leather and this one I put the wrong way. See how it's um, rough on the outside? I put the back side the wrong way. And that's why I was having problems getting that rivet in because these holes aren't perfectly lined up. I and mean, they're not gonna be perfect, right? They're not going to be perfect. They're handmade, right? They're not handbags either. I tried uh, punching them with uh, just a straight punch and I destroyed my punch just after a few holes. I've been just experimenting. So I'll pop all these holes out here and I'll show you what I do. I'll put a little bit of wax on there. I've been putting the wax on the, on the punch. It comes out a little bit easier. I don't have any beeswax. There we go, much easier. Gotta make sure it's right on button because if it's not, it is a pain in the butt to get these rivets in. And I don't wanna screw a rivet up because it's very, very difficult to get these rivets out. They do not come out. These rivets are super heavy duty, man. These rivets, are steel rivets. They're nickel plated steel tubular rivet, rivets. And it took me a little bit of experimenting getting the right length because the thickness of leather. I've had to buy several different sizes and these rivets aren't cheap, right? And it's just a little bit tougher to get it to do it with this um, hand punch. And this is a good hand punch, rotary punch, but I um, just want to get it done right, right? 
I've had to fix a lot of mistakes today, but I've been just going slower, making sure I'm getting all the uh, the right the right stuff done first. There's just a lot of stuff on preparation on these before I have to even start popping the rivets, right? Lots of preparation. I've screwed up quite a few of them. And I've been cutting them by hand, right? So they're handmade. So they're super heavy duty. It's really hard on these tools, you know, punching through this super thick leather, right? It just, I've been going through punches. You know, this is um, eight to nine weight, uh, ounce, thick, very thick leather, all right? There we go, I don't like this. And I'll just step back on it and do this part by hand, all right? Because it's handmade. They're not going to be handbags, all right? But they are going to be quality leather. That's what I wanted, all right? Right there. Trim that edge up a little bit right there. Round the corners off. Just like that. I just eyeball them, right? None of these are the same, right? Every one is different. They look different, you know, they're not like made in a factory or anything, right? But they're gonna be the same size. They're gonna generally look different, right? Oh, they, you know, they're gonna look like this. They're gonna look like this. You know, they're gonna look like that, right? Super heavy duty. I'll punch this one out here. I need to make sure I put a bevel on this one right here before I put it on there, right? Because I can't, it's very difficult for me to bevel it when it's inside of that loop there. And um, let's see here. So I didn't go metal detecting today. Today was the first day that I haven't been metal detecting in a long time, man. Months. But I just wanted to get these done. I did two of those last night. I bought a, went up to Portland last night. Drove three hours in traffic to go get some leather. And this new punch, or this new Arbor, Arbor Press. Yeah, that one didn't come out very easy. I gotta make sure it comes out, man. And it's all the way, punched all the way through. Because it is a bitch if it's not all the way through. There we go. Let's try it from the other side. There we go. This one just did not go very go good. It didn't go in there very good. There we go. And my die is starting to come out. That's not good. That's probably why it was malfunctioning. I had to change change this um change this punch a couple times already. Use just the they don't last very long, right? Even though it's a high quality tool, it's just I'm punching through thick leather. You know? I'm gonna get right on the button. Makes it very difficult to put it together if it's um, not limber too, so I have to, I have to work the leather a bit. I'll show you. I'll show you what, 
what I've been having to do here. These things will last your lifetime, right? You'll never have to replace this sheath. I can guarantee it. Guaranteed for life, man, pretty much. I'm not gonna put a lifetime guarantee on it, but because metal teching is so rough on equipment, but it will be, it'll outlive your pin pointers, your shovels, your hand diggers, your metal techers. It'll probably outlive you. So what I have to do is make sure I don't have any dirty hands because that dye doesn't go in there very good. So I'll just work this leather a little bit, right? Gotta work it because this piece is actually bigger than that bottom plate, the back plate, right? I gotta work this leather because if I don't, it'll be really tough to get it in there. Once I get one, light, one side of rivets in there, um, it's very dif difficult to get my rivets in straight and getting the rivets in straight. Oh man, I had dirty hands. Oh well So I just work it back and forth just limbered up a little bit, right? And this one I do the same just go like this Just limbered up a little bit You know, because it's raw leather, right? It takes a lot to get them to look like that. So we'll just work it this way a little bit too. I struggled a lot by not doing this right here. You've got to work it. You've got to work it in the le work the leather, right? So I got to make sure this goes on the right way. Just like that. And I'll show you how I do this part. This is the easy part right here. All right. This is the easy part. Cutting the leather into these strips right here is very difficult. I think the hardest part is the sixth rivet. This is the first one. The first one's kind of hard too because... Um, I gotta get all lined up there, right? If it's not all lined up, it's really hard to get straight. Right there. See how I want it straight right there so I don't have to fight it so much. Right there. And just put the rest of these rivets in there. The hole should line up pretty good. Just like so. When they don't line up, it's really a pain in the butt. Because I don't want to have one of these rivets crunch on me. When they crunch, they're steel, so they're very difficult to get out. Let's go slow. Get my chair out of the way here so I don't trip over it. And this die was expensive right here. This this die for the this die for this set. little set or this even the arbor too is pretty expensive but it's specifically made for leather work leather smithing okay now here comes the hard part All right got to go really slow on this last one cuz I want to make sure it's lined up there just right Right there. Okay. All my rivets look good. Okay. Just work it a little bit there. Because this piece is, see, it's just a little bit bigger, so it ha it's a pouch, you know? I've been going like this. I want to go like this. I'm kind of just forming it to it, just like that. All right. Just stretching it out a little bit. So the rivets will go in there because this top piece is a little bit wider than the back piece. Okay. Make sure the rivet is straight, just like that. 
looks good okay now this is when it starts becoming very difficult that's when I go like this stick that sucker right in there okay because it's such thick leather it's hard to work with all right the thinner leather I bought some thinner leather and I worked with it it was wasn't too bad but this thicker leather man this nine ounce is tough to work with so I'll just pull this out a little bit here right there so my rivet is straight in there if it's not it crunches my rivet and it takes about 20 minutes to get that rivet out it's a pain in the butt because I don't want to tear the leather out right that's why leather work is so expensive because when you screw up it costs you man because the leather is expensive and the rivets are expensive too just like that i don't want to go too hard on it because it'll put a big fresh uh, pressure mark in it right there so pull that out just a little bit this one's going pretty good just need to slow down a little bit don't want to go screwed up on the last freaking rivet or actually this is not the last rivet okay just like that Make sure it's in there, right? right? If it's not in there, that rivet will just get wasted. And when that happens, I cuss. I cuss just a little bit in the backyard here. Right? So when I go like this, stick that in there, work it really good, just like that. Soften the leather up just a little bit, right? These things will not break, right? They are super durable, right? Now, I need to make sure that looks good. I'm gonna trim that up just a little bit there. Put a little burr on that, a little bevel on the edge right there. Okay, it's looking good. Now this one, um, this is where I screw up right here on these rivets, because I'm having to fold the leather, right? I'm having to fold it, I'm having to fight with that because that rivet's got to be in there um, and it can't be, it, the leather can't be separated. So getting this, this in there straight, right? 